It's a show of support that's prompted fears of unrest in Iraq. Thousands of followers of Iraq's Shia leader, Muqtada al-Sadr, held mass Friday prayers outside the parliament building in Baghdad. It comes a day after Sadr called for Iraq's judiciary to dissolve parliament by the end of next week. If not, Sadr said his supporters would take another stand in what is being seen as a veiled threat to parliament. Our leader Muqtada al-Sadr has ordered us to stay and to continue the sit-in until our demands are met, which first include dissolving the Iraqi parliament, holding early election within six months to a year. We are here standing steadfast until the demands are met. Sadr supporters have repeatedly stormed the parliament and Baghdad's high security green zone since the end of July. They're frustrated with the 10-month-long political stalemate that sprouted from the results of the elections last October. Sadr's bloc largely won the most votes in those elections, but they oppose the nomination of a rival candidate for prime minister. Their Shia rivals, a coalition of influential pro-Iran factions called the Coordination Framework, have gained a considerable majority in parliament, especially after 73 Sadrist lawmakers quit in protest last month. On Friday, supporters of the Coordination Framework held a counter-protest in central Baghdad. We have delivered a clear message in our protests today. We have shown that we categorically reject any coup against the Iraqi constitution or the political process in the country. Sutter's rival former Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki says the demonstration sends a clear message to Iraqis and invites all political parties to find a common ground to end the crisis. Over the last two decades, Iraq has bounced from one political crisis to another, but political contention in the country was generally divided along sectarian lines. This time it's different, and tensions are on the rise once again, as Sadr promises to prevent the chamber from electing a new government while calling for early elections. Rahul Radhakrishnan, TRT World.